So I've learned a few things since we brought out the ball of steel about what they really accomplish. Take a look at this stroke and, see, and tell me what you see. First of all, it's five or six feet. I ought to make this putt. I get a little bit tentative, let's say, and I kind of give it one of these rolls and kind of hit that putt. Well, that's the kind of putt that tour players and you and I alike hate. That's the exact distance that they're really loving the ball of steel about, not because they're deselling, but it, because it helps them learn to hit this putt with some authority. It's different. It's not a decel. It's kind of what we call just kind of creating authority with these putts. So the idea is once I hit the ball of steel a few times with some authority, I can go back to my regular putt, which I can get a little tentative with, right? And I can step in there and it automatically comes off the face with some authority. So it's not a D cell I'm trying to protect against, it's trying to create some momentum with that, with that putt that I'm supposed to make that I can kind of back off of if I'm not too careful. So one of the other things that I've learned out on the tour as these guys have been working with the ball of steel and they're the greatest teachers in the world is they want to protect against a, a stroke that comes up into the ball, what uh, a lesser player might call kind of a chicken wing if we're not careful. We sort of give it that and we just we don't hit it on the sweet spot of the ball or the putter. It just doesn't come off with anything. So you take a look at the, at the ball of steel if you try that. The shaft gets a little back. I mean, it won't go anywhere. So if I learn to take this putter and, and make a solid stroke with the ball of steel, it will automatically set up and eliminate that chicken wing appropriately. And that's one of the things we're looking for is that it automatically makes that ball go, it adjusts my shaft angle, it eliminates that chicken wing because it just won't roll. I haven't transferred any energy, it just lays there. So one of the new things that I've learned about the ball of steel is that it really helps me prevent probably the most common error in putting, which is that left wrist sort of changing its angle either way or breaking down. And what happens when I do that is I don't give the ball any energy from the putter. It kind of comes up and it just kind of gives me that or something like that. The ball of steel will not let you make that stroke. It just won't go anywhere if you try it. And in fact, if you get your hands too far forward, you won't go anywhere either. But if I, if I learn to make that stroke appropriately, again, almost without instruction, with some authority, then I've made an adjustment with my stroke where this left wrist is gonna stay connected and that ball will come off with a lot of momentum. So that's another great drill we've learned out on the tour at the Ball of Steel.